Hello everyone, this is an updated video of the flying tutorial I did before. Game Creator has changed a tiny bit, so some of the actions need to be different. Before we start, I'd like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So, like I mentioned before, Game Creator has changed a bit and the way the gravity and falling actions work is no longer the same. Um, this has changed since Game Creator 1.1.10, I think. Um, so, some of the actions need to be different. For this tutorial, I'll be using uh, USS Studio's True Flying set. I'll link it in the description. It's a really good looking animation set, way better than what I used in the first video. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to add a trigger here. Um, I'll remove the, the collider, we don't need it. And I'm going to add local variables um, up here as well. So flying. So this is what we'll be using to check if we're in a flying state, yes or no. So um, really simply put, um, this could be a global variable, but if you you know add it to uh, this game object, you could copy it over to a different uh, project and it will just work straight off the bat. So slightly easier, you could copy it over to a new scene, etc. etc. So it's gonna be turned off by default because by default we're not flying. So uh, first things first, um, we need uh, a couple of triggers. So let me just start by adding all of these triggers. Uh, we'll need five in total. Uh, one to go up, one to go down, etc. etc. So I'm gonna start off with this one. And I'm going to use on key hold and I'll use the space button on timeout. Now space by default is also jumping, that's why I'm you know pressing space once you jump, holding it, you will start flying. You can map it to whatever button you want, of course, you don't have to do it like this. So let's rename them. So uh, state conditions. There we go. So we're going to look for the bool and local variable. I'm going to drag in this trigger and select uh, flying. So by default, it's turned off. So let's actually rename this to fly trigger. There we go. Cool. So um, by default, we need something to happen here. So we'll need to, uh, first off, we're going to start with a bool. And from the start, we want to make sure that um, we are changing our state to a flying state. So by default, obviously, this doesn't do anything. We'll need to add a character state for the player to change to, which has the flying animations, which we'll go over a bit. We'll need to adjust um, some player properties. And this is where things have changed uh, a tiny bit um, for going up and down. So not for the default. So uh, falling speed by default is set to minus 100 because we're falling. And we're going to set that to zero. So we're not no longer falling. We're no longer going down. I'm also going to uh, Increase the run speed a bit, so when going forward, I know we're flying, but it's still the run speed. Uh, by default, this is four, I'm changing it to seven, so we'll go a bit faster. Uh, but you can change it to whatever value you want, you can go eight, it doesn't really matter. So, and I'm going to close, close this up, and I'll press duplicate, and we'll have a new set here. Now, the important thing is that it also uses the same action, so we need to create new ones and make sure to press keep both. Cool. So this one is if falling is, uh, if flying is true. So if we are already flying, what are we going to do? And it's, uh, it's pretty similar. So we can actually copy over a lot of the variables. You know what, we can even just actually completely copy or duplicate that set of actions and just drag that in here. 
So it's a lot easier. So assign bool to flying is going to be turned off. We're going to reset our state. Max fall speed is going to go back to minus 100 and run speed is going to go back to four or whatever value you had for run speed by default. And that's it, that's our flying state. Now let's add a state. Um, so I've added one here. So the way you do this is you right click, create, game creator, um, characters and then locomotion state. Now these are the only animations we need to add. Uh, you can add more but you won't really see them. So we need to have a airborne idle down and up. So I'm using um, that animation set I referred to. So floating idle, floating up, down and fly down, loop forward and loop uh, forward up. And yeah, that's it. Those are all the animations we need. So now that we have that, we can drag it in. And there we go. So if you have different animations, just use different animations. Um, but this is a good set, definitely recommend it. So cool, we have our uh, state conditions for um, entering and exiting flying. So let's actually give that a go, see if it works. So, yeah, okay. Going forward, um, we can't go up or down yet. Um, but yeah, this is all working and we can move. And as you can see, we're, uh, we're flying, so cool. Now we need to have the option to fly up and down and etc. etc. So let's get started. So I'm going to use mouse down. So left mouse to uh, go up, right mouse to go down. If you want to use buttons for that, just use buttons. If you want to use something else, just, you know, do something else. Cool. So we're going to uh, give these a couple of names so we can actually uh, easily make sense of them. Uh, you can give different names than uh, the names I'm using. Obviously, you don't have to use any of these. Um, but for me, these, uh, these just make sense. So I'm going to use um, fly up conditions. There we go. I'm going to add a clause. And I'm going to copy over um, this condition. And we're not having an else here, we're not having multiple clauses, um, but we need to make sure, oh, let me actually copy over that correctly. We need to make sure this only activates if we're in flying state and if we're not in the flying state that nothing will happen um, regarding these actions and that's the important part. So let's create some actions. So we're going to start off with a character property and another character property. So gravity, and I'm going to set three. Now, the higher this value is, the faster you'll go up. Just keep in mind that um, if you go really fast, the camera won't be able to follow you along. So don't make it too fast. And a max file speed has to be set to minus 100. Now I'm going to duplicate um, this set of actions and this is going to be fly up condition stop. So basically once we let go of that mouse button, um, that's important as well because otherwise you'll just endlessly start floating up. And uh, basically what we need to do is we need to go back to the original values which are these. Now, if you're wondering where this number comes from, this is the original player gravity value. So that's where it comes from. So that means that this needs to be mouse up. I'm already going to add the triggers for the other ones as well. So mouse down and mouse up again. And this is going to be for the right mouse. There we go. So we need conditions. And yeah, as you might have guessed, we're just going to be duplicating this set. Uh, just makes it go a lot faster. So we have the stop conditions. Let's duplicate both. 
and let's change this to down conditions now for the down conditions it's actually really simple um, we don't need to alter, alter anything else all we really need to do here is change the fall speed so minus seven And again, same story, um, minus seven is already a bit much, I'm going to do minus six. So um, the lower this value, so you know, minus 20 will make you go down really fast, but keep in mind that the camera still needs to be able to track you, so if you go too fast, um, yeah, you, you'll guess, the camera won't follow. And then for the stop conditions, so fly down, stop. There we go. Um, all we really need to do is change the fall speed and set it back to zero. And yeah, that's uh, that's it. And the reason we're not um, changing anything related to gravity here is because we don't need gravity to go down to alter gravity to go down, um, which we do in order to make it go up. Cool. So let's drag those in. Perfect, and let's try this out. Cool. So if I press um, left mouse now, we're going up. If I press right mouse, we're going down. And we can see this by the shadow. It's hard to see without buildings. Um, if we go forward and then we press left mouse, we're seeing a different animation. Um, and if we press right mouse, we're also seeing a different animation because we're going back down again. So it's hard to see without any environmental models, so the shadow will uh, just have to give it away. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, actions are slightly different compared to um, the previous video. And again, that's because of some changes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.